It really is virtually impenetrable. To protect you on top, how that stops, it's a anti-climb device. If you look at the steel on top, it's also structural, but actually it was there more importantly for anti-climb. Do you want to explain that? So it's the it's, panels up there. So it's one thing to figure out how to navigate the vertical post but the transition at the top makes the climb orders of magnitude more difficult. It requires different equipment, different tools, different skills, and so it's the change as we get to the top that, that adds to the protection of that fence. It's going to be virtually uh, impossible to cross unless you're one hell of a mountain climber. Nobody's getting through. You can't get through unless you're a world-class pole vaulter on the Olympic team. <laughs> To the anti-climb provision that we have on top. Anti-climb. Who knows about anti-climb provision? We have the panels on top, which are anti-climb panels. I don't know if you noticed the steel on top. This wall can't be climbed. This is very, very hard. And what the panel does on top, as I said, is structural, but it's also very hard to get by that panel. We had people going out and real climbers telling us which is the toughest to climb, but these are anti-climb panels. Very tough to get across. What do I know about building walls?